There's always room for fun in wrestling. Aren't you supposed to be Jamaican? What happened to your accent? Even during serious moments, everything's funnier when you're not supposed to laugh, as the saying goes. King! Bugha! Today, we've got 25 minutes of wrestlers breaking character by laughing or smiling when they weren't meant to. The Rock is usually razor sharp in his promos. Shane, your roll, know it. Triple H, your mouth, shut it. Vince, your llama's anus, lick it. Stephanie, your dirty panties, wear it. But the Great One had some trouble getting his words out in a segment with Mankind in early 1999, resulting in both men laughing out loud. The Rock must be puberty, because none the Rock and Mick Foley were one of wrestling's funniest duos. It was rare to see The Rock break character, but Foley was probably the best at making the people's champion crack up. One such example was when Mick stole one of Rock's signature catchphrases on Raw in 2000. Well, the Rock it doesn't is matter how it makes you feel! What the? <laughs> that was a good one, I gotta give him credit! Oh, Commissioner, he made The Rock smile! The Rock once made himself laugh when saying another of his signature phrases. Finally, The Rock has come back to Milwaukee! Foley is at it again in this next clip. Mick proceeds to make The Rock smile after The Great One's glasses fell off during an off-the-air segment on SmackDown in 1999. The Rock wasn't going to pick up the glasses, and if they were going to get off the canvas, I was going to have to do it. The Rock thanks you for that. The Rock also had his fair share of moments where he broke others. What you're cooking smells like 100%, grade A, money back guarantee, one big bucket of Canadian moose piss. Do you like donuts? Get the biggest jelly donut you can find. Oh no. Nights. I am the game. Your arms are way too damn big. Look at this thing. Finally come back to the Super Dome. Yeah, let's get a Super Dome chance. While not only being hilarious on the mic, the Great One also had fans grinning ear to ear whenever he performed The People's Elbow, which was initially created to try and make The Undertaker break character. I believe the first time Rock did The People's Elbow was in a match where we were trying to make Taker crack. I always thought that was the hokiest thing ever, but iconic, right? And always to get me to laugh. Drop The People's Elbow on this piece of <laughs> The Rock also sold the Stone Cold Stunner in exaggerated fashion, in an attempt to make Stone Cold laugh. Oh, got the, stunner! the Rock is still a bad guy. You say everything, okay? Leading up to Roman Reigns' match with Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 38, Lesnar went after Reigns and the rest of the bloodline whilst driving a forklift on an episode of SmackDown. After the show came back from commercial, Jey Uso could be seen laughing while selling the effects of the crash. SUV! The cameras continued rolling during the break! But this wasn't the only time Jay was caught breaking character in the WWE. You were absolutely nothing till your wife put you on Total Divas! <laughs> Y'all look just like your mugshots. This is deceptively powerful, and there are parts of him jiggling that nobody should ever see right now. This is borderline inappropriate. Jay also made Cody Rhodes crack up with laughter during their press conference post Fastlane 2023, where the pair were quite obviously buzzing. Yeah. Oh. You feel me? You feel me? Do you feel him, sir? Jay would break quite frequently during his time in the bloodline, especially when Sami Zayn was on screen. Jay was meant to hate Sami at the time, but Uso just couldn't keep it together. I'm actually about to go to dinner. Yeah, Waffle House. Hey, boys. You, you right? They they love Waffle House. Earlier? Yeah. Big, I'll tell you all about it later. Okay? Yeet. Yeah. All right. <sighs> Hasn't been very oozy. Uh. Sammy was so funny during his time with the Bloodline, he was even able to make the usually stone-faced Solo Sokoa break character multiple times. I go, my dog! My dog! I'm right here! <laughs> That's, right. Yeah, yeah. That's my dog! That is my goose! This man was an absolute legend! Hey, oh, my dream right now, every part 
a Sheamus's body has to be taken such a toll over the past couple of months. Zayn also had the tribal chief Roman Reigns cracking up, as seen on SmackDown ahead of Reigns match with Logan Paul at Crown Jewel 2022. The biggest two of them all, my dog. And that is how you are going to end up as a number two stain. More often than not, the tribal chief just couldn't help but laugh at Sammy. I got Sammy and Jay out there in the world working on becoming a little more oozy. Doing a little dance, he can't. That's the dance you do. That's, I'm in his head doing the dance. Yeah, right? You know what I mean? Oh, 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 there it is. How do you, how do you not love Jimmy? Paul Heyman's run as the wise man of the bloodline had its funny moments too, such as the time Paul caused Reigns to break out laughing during a 10 bell salute to eulogize Daniel Bryan's WWE career that Roman ended. Ding! Heyman was on the receiving end of this next joke, courtesy of John Cena, in a moment that once again saw Roman Reigns break character. Hype man slimy in the corner holding up the championship. You're gonna kick my ass at SummerSlam! Cena also made Reigns break years earlier for calling out his poor promo skills. It's called a promo, Shut kid, your and mouth, if you want to be the big dog, you're gonna have to learn how to do it, so go ahead. During Triple H's feud with Mick Foley in the year 2000, the game made fun of Foley in numerous Have a Bad Day skits, one of which included Triple H cosplaying as a Chinese man working at a children's hospital. Helmsy called himself Dr. Hung Lo. I had Dr. Hung Lo. Did you say Dr. Hung Lo? Me Hung Lo. And hardly kept a straight face throughout the whole segment. What? <laughs> Never mess with the Hung Lo. Now you get the fat ass out of here. In the lead up to his match with Stone Cold at Over the Edge 1998, Vince McMahon introduced the new Dude Love, who had undergone a corporate makeover. The Dude cut a promo putting himself over, amusing Vince in the process. I am a lover of women. I am a leader of men. A week prior to Dude Love breaking Vince, it was McMahon that caused someone to break character. The chairman's hilarious dancing caused the usual poker face Stone Cold Steve Austin to laugh on camera. <laughs> The Texas rattlesnake was as straight face as they come, carrying a chip on his shoulder everywhere he went. This made it even funnier when Stone Cold broke character. It's all Stone Cold's fault. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> I gotta start that. What do you do for a living, Stacy? I work for a Christian publishing company. If there's one thing I can't stand. <laughs> better take heed finally up oh, 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 too soon trying to get away but austin oh. stuns mcmahon history repeats itself <laughs> dad's laughing after uh vince mcmahon taking the stone called stunner <laughs> despite his foul mouth roughneck persona austin displayed his comedic talents time and time again i want to tell you what i want to just say what you got a microphone in your hand use it about one of your t-shirts. A big fan of Chris Jericho, are you? No, I'm not a big fan. They ran out of toilet paper. Ah! Oh my God. That's Danny. <laughs> what were you saying? Some people claim that there's a rock in a blame. WrestleMania 30, right here in the Silver Dome. Good to be back here at the Silver Dome. <laughs> What if I just put you over my knee, pull your little dress up? Uh-oh. I gotta be careful, I don't want your balls to fall out. <laughs> Now we'll look at Austin making Vince laugh. It occurred on the fall of 1997 when McMahon was still Raw's announcer, back when his chairman's status was typically only mentioned in passing. So when Stone Cold made reference to it during an in-ring interview, he drew a smile from the boss. You want to jump on the Stone Cold bandwagon more than anybody in the world. McMahon's laugh is so genuine that it's hard not to laugh with him. How does Upper Mongolia differ from Lower Mongolia? Well, one is a little higher than the other one. You know, being a world traveler, I know all the answers. <laughs> My husband has a six inch scar on his face that really turns me off. In 2001, Stone Cold feuded with Booker T. Austin pursued Booker in different places each week. On one occasion, Book tried to evade Stone Cold in a unique location. McMahon's reaction when he learned of Booker's whereabouts was pure gold. I'm getting ready to play some bingo. So don't worry about a thing. I'm safe inside. No matter his role, Booker T always provides us with some side spitting funny moments. Booker 
Parker, you wish you had legs like that. Uh, Sometimes I do. <laughs> I'm just a Booker T. Booker T. I'm not your sucker. Sucker. King Booker. A parade of honeys in front of him. So <laughs> his legs are feeling right now, but I know he's happy. Booker, you're taking us off track. <laughs> Brock Lesnar gets the, the beast. Brock Lesnar, uh, <laughs> excuse me. The Brock beast. defends against Braun Strowman. <laughs> Braun Strowman. Booker and his Spinner Rooney routine gave countless wrestlers the opportunity to loosen up and show a different side to their character. It's hard not to laugh whenever our truth is on screen. We used to be cool, man. What's. Used to is a rooster from Brewster. You don't know nothing about cool. Oh, so he's about Street. to lose the match. Five. We got to do something. Six. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he lost the ball. I can't believe this is happening. But I don't want it to end. Uh, tonight we're gonna put the E in entertainment. Uh, the fried fish they had was pretty good. I mean, if I may add, you probably didn't put no tartar sauce on it. I got acrophobia, y'all. Here are spiders. Not one spider oh. on this ladder. <laughs> I told you. It's a phobia. No I want to be just like my childhood hero, John Cena. Smart. Truth even made Brock Lesnar break during a segment on Raw before the 2020 Royal Rumble, where Truth was supposed to declare his entry in the Rumble match to take on Lesnar, but it didn't quite go to plan for Truth. You will go flying over that top rope, Paul Heyman. Oh, Heyman? I'm not in the Royal Rumble. That's what's up. Our Truth had trouble with another match concept this time in 2015, as Truth mistakenly believed he was in the Money in the Bank ladder match. In a moment that had multiple wrestlers chuckling. What the truth is gonna do in Money in the Bank? You're not even in the match. This, this is on me, Kane. My bad. Santino Morella was one of the few people to rival our Truth when it came to making wrestlers break character. Let's make this post-match celebration oh, even bigger. Man. Give me a break. What? <laughs> I lost my title to William Regal. His knee to my head should have been illegal. You got served. Santino was at his funniest when badly pronouncing wrestlers' names. Fandingo. <laughs> Spondongo. Sorry. Fandingo. <laughs> like he did during a backstage segment with John Cena in 2008. You have a big mouth, John Cena. And there's nothing I would like more for Christmas than a chance to shut it. Earlier in the same year, Santino butchered Batista's name during a promo where he made fun of the animal. <laughs> Look at me, huh? I'm a Baptista. I shoot the lasers from my hands like I'm eight years old. Let's see how many brain cells the animal Baptista has. Twelve! That's not very many about this. Santino really was on fire in 2008, including the time he brilliantly questioned why Rey Mysterio chooses to wear a mask. Any man who hides behind a mask is either incredibly ugly or is the Batman. Santino's funny way of insulting his opponents was showcased once again in a tea party skit with Sheamus on Raw in 2010. You were excluded from activities with the other kids because you're a ginger. Even Vince McMahon couldn't help but smile when talking to Santino as seen in a backstage skit on Raw in 2009. John Cena is no stranger to having some fun, and one of his funniest moments saw him laughing hysterically due to the crowd not letting Vicky Guerrero speak, which even Vicky saw the funny side of. You are not the only one! Oh, 
loves a running gag. Cena's quick wit and charm has also led to numerous others breaking character. You and Sable fighting? That's good for my health. Something about you makes me keep in touch with myself. <laughs> it's just another case of big things with small packages. But it was easy for other wrestlers and fans to make John laugh as well. You talk about all those people like they are so much better than me. They are. When you first got here, everybody was excited, including me. Look at you. I'm a god. <laughs> I cannot put off my surgery any longer. Tonight I leave the WWE. In the midst of a feud with William Regal's Blackpool Combat Club in 2022, Chris Jericho, flanked by his Jericho Appreciation Society, cut a scathing promo on their rivals. I thought you'd be dead by now. Oh. Regal responded with humor, forcing Chris to crack a smile in response. With that whining, vile, pathetic, trout slapping voice of yours. Chris Jericho has always been one of wrestling's funniest performers. Chris was especially funny in 2016 when putting people on the list of Jericho. You know what's gonna happen? Oh, you know what's happening to you right now? You know what happens because you put Kevin Owens in this match? You know what's gonna happen? You know what happens, Chins McMahon? You know what happens when you touch my personal property, don't you? You know what happens when you don't impress Kevin Owens at the Festival of Friendship, huh? You know what happens when you betray Chris Jericho? You just made the list! You just made the list! You just made the list! You know what? You just made the list. Brace face in row 12 is now on the list. You just made the list! Oh no. You just made the list! Oh no. You just made the list! You just made the list! Roman Reigns in particular enjoyed the time Jericho put AJ Styles on the list. So stupid soccer mom's hair! You just made the list! Chris also made people laugh with his gift of Jericho catchphrase. Drink it in, man! Bring it in, man! Including Raw GM at the time, Mick Foley. Lock it in, man! Jericho had numerous other moments we would make wrestlers break. Hey, look at Barrett. Barrett. We are. <laughs> Nonetheless, she reminds me of Baby from House of a Thousand Corpses. Some weird chick. <laughs> she is. If you want to see Chris Jericho drink a beer with Steve Austin, say do what diddy diddy dum diddy do. Never in a million years would have believed that would have happened, but it just did, so give me some beer. The only perros I see are the perro idiots oh. standing right here. Some of wrestling's funniest character breaking moments came courtesy of Mean Gene Oakland. Quit me like a red headed, red headed stepson. I'm sick and tired of that type of treatment. Heenan, Weasel, whatever you guys want to do, just bring it on. All the people are going to hear the national anthem. And they're going to be standing loud, and they're going to be standing proud and tall, and they're going to hear... That little tin cup jingling it around with change in it, because when you step in the ring with the Hercules and the king... You use a ball to play cricket, is that correct? <laughs> that is correct, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Aretha Franklin, I thank you. Shut up. They know who's the auto chic. They have the, the from John F. Kennedy Airport to the Los Angeles, California. Who could forget the famous clip of Gene trying but failing to hold back the laughs during an interview with Wendy Richter? I'm not about to lay down on my back and let someone cover me. I thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> We don't blame Gene for laughing during this next interview, as Oakland reacted to a crazy promo from Dr. D. David Schultz. I couldn't find no woman. I found a lot of men that look like women. Now you all, Hogan, what's wrong with you? Then there was the downright insane interview featuring Gene, the Iron Sheik, and a Thanksgiving turkey. He reminds me look like Hulk Hogan. Look at his head, look at him. Now that redneck stays down. I'm not interested that idiot. It's always entertaining to see Randy Orton react to a promo. You're going to be lying flat on your back, much like 
your ex-girlfriend. Oh. Later on tonight, you want to get together? But I said that in the set, like in the ring, man. Damn. Even if I did, you'd probably choke in it anyway. There is nothing that this man hasn't done in this business except beat me. Just look at Orton's reaction to Stephanie McMahon slapping the head off Batista. I just have... Orton would also have some hilarious reactions mid-match. Orton probably wasn't expecting his former Evolution stablemate Triple H's epic response to Randy's insult. Retrieve your balls from Stephanie's purse. They're just so big and it's it's such a burden. Well, how about the time in 2015 when the New Day poked fun at the amount of factions Orton had been in throughout his time in WWE? Dang, Randy! How many groups have you been in? <laughs> the New Day are renowned for getting talent to break from their usual characters in order to dance. Says, what the hell? Fuck it, Oh my goodness. It's throw the go! I will never be able to unsee this. Including some names you wouldn't expect to see get down the way they did. Hilarity always ensues when the New Day are around. So if they're not making wrestlers dance, they're probably making them laugh. They don't know about Weenie Doo. When your gut hangs out more than your Weenie Doo. Wow. World Tag Team Champion. He says he did it for the people, but he did it for the paycheck. Few people have ever made The Undertaker break character. It doesn't matter. It don't matter. Because we're going into invasion. Invasion. I think it's time for The Undertaker Rooney. Go somewhere for a little vacation. That right there will make you quit being so upset. I see him start to grin. Almost got you, the damn sure got me. Look at this. And the dead man's risen. Yep. Goldus is one of the select few to hold this distinction. Goldie's rendition of the Spinner Rooney brought out a rare laugh from the dead man. But The Undertaker wasn't the only wrestler who Goldus got to break character. The first one to we welcome you to the WWE. Yeah, yeah. Howdy there, NWO. I'm the coach. <laughs> Be careful. And we've got sausage and midgets all waiting in the car just for you. Let's go. Oh. <gasps> it's me, bro. The undercover brother. Not the perfect family. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our similar video where we look back at 30 minutes of infamous wrestling receipts. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.